How's it going, Eric? Doing good. Uh, welcome to Mid America Fly Museum. <laughs> How does it feel to be on the other end of the camera? A little different. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, um, what year did we first meet? Do you even remember? That was, it had to have been probably about maybe three years ago, okay. I think, three, two or three years ago. Then, I don't know how you found out about us, probably through Andrew, maybe. I met you, I'll never forget it. You, okay. I was working at Business Jet Center, the FBO, and I, I showed up for work one day and you were there with your T6. And I had flown in about 16 different T6s over the years, so I knew what it was and I went over and I wa wanted to meet you and say hi. And you were gracious like you always are, saying, feel free to crawl inside and check out the cockpit. And I remember asking, I go, I go, can I ask you a dumb question? And you gave me a look like, okay, you know, and I go, can I sit in, in the back cockpit? And you go, why would you want to do that? And I go, well, I've flown in several of these, but only in the back seat, so I know how to do that. He goes, well, you obviously know what you're doing, so go ahead and hop in and enjoy it. <laughs> so I went off and did my thing and you did your thing. Yep. So that's, that's, that's funny. Tell me, what, what got you into, uh, into photography and uh, was it always aviation or was it just photography or digital? Then aviation came along or kind of tell me your journey of getting into photography that led to kind of where we are now. Give, give, give us your story. I, people see your videos, yeah. time, but nobody knows the backstory. I don't. Yeah, so, I, got yeah. Into, I got into photography. I'd, I'd been, I, I've been around aviation all my life. My, my dad was uh, in the Air Force, in the, uh, Air Force uh, for about 23 years. Uh, and he was a, a civilian pilot, not in the military, but a, just a civilian pilot. And he was also into photography. So I grew up around aviation. And I knew pretty early on that it was something I thought was going to dominate my life or the majority of it. And, uh, and he was into uh, photography, like I said. And one day I went up to him and I go, Dad, I want you to teach me how to take pictures, how to do photography. And he goes, well, Cameras are, cameras are not cheap and they're very delicate, so I'll teach you how to take care of the equipment first. And if you prove to me that you can take care of the equipment, I'll give you your first camera and teach you how to use it. So all I had to do was carry around a camera for a few weeks and not break it. And then he'd sign, and then he then he decide then he started to show me what all the, the buttons and dials and everything were. And then that's when it really started to be kind of cool. At first it was just like, you know, the, you know being the rookie kid, you gotta prove yourself. But when I started to actually learn how to do it and when I was a kid, I could draw really well. So, you know, when you're thinking about drawing a picture, you think of what angles you want to draw it at. Well, that kind of carried over into my photography. You know, you don't just walk up and go, snap. Okay, what size of light on? Do I want to elevate? Do I want to lay down? Do I, you know, do I want to, do I want a dramatic shot, hero shot? What kind of shot do I want to do? And so the, my artistic ability carried over into, into the photography. I did photography for a long time. Kind of got out of it after the digital stuff started coming out, just, just because of life. And uh, then I started getting into uh, videos and uh, just really, really a small budget to work with. I've always tried to take every piece of equipment that I have and push it the absolute furthest that I possibly can because I've never had really the money to go out and buy all the nice new stuff that can do everything, you know. And, but that goes back to what my dad taught me, you know. He goes, never let your equipment be your handicap. Learn it, max out your potential, and then upgrade. You know, Tyson has said that so many times. Really? Everybody, yeah, everybody wants to see, you know, well, what camera are you shooting with? What lens are you shooting with? What f-stop? And he, he will he'll tell you, you know, the, the camera, it's, it's nice to have all the, the fancy stuff. It doesn't hurt him any. But, uh, but, but he said the person behind the camera and the framing and all the artistic things that go on, he said you can do it with a very inexpensive camera to yeah. get some amazing shots. And so uh, Tyson has really been an inspiration to those who don't really have the money to have those multi-thousand dollar cameras and lenses. To uh, and, and I, that's one, one thing I've always liked about Tyson. He's always just willing to willing to share like that. But uh, you know, he's mostly all into steel, and you're into video, and it always has intrigued me because the thing I love about video is you can capture the story. Uh, with a with with still, you can capture that split second in time. Yeah. And 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 sometimes there's a story told with that, but uh, but seeing the video is is pretty uh pretty awesome. I like the phrase. You know, everyone's heard the expression: "A picture's worth a thousand words." Well, I, and when I shoot video, I'm taking anywhere from thirty to sixty pictures a second. <laughs> Talking fast. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story and your 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 backstory, and we appreciate you coming. You volunteer here and other places, and you're you're giving, and and we really uh, 
we really appreciate you being a, a, a huge part of Mid America Flight Museum. It's, it's kind of what it's all about. We are a family yeah, around here. Very much and so. Everybody has a different skill set. Yeah. But everybody's so willing to share and give, and it's it's a fun environment uh, yeah. to be around. And we we really appreciate you. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. you.